I'm sorry, Mr. Mason. Well, what's the matter? Why didn't you stop? I couldn't see you was tangled up. Oh, why didn't you keep your eyes open? Are you all right, Rod? Oh, I suppose so, but look at these clothes. Yeah, that shirt's a wreck. You better get changed. I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Mason. I hope you won't hold this against me. Ah, oh, it's all right, old timer. Forget it. There's no harm done. Hey, that was awfully nice of him, wasn't it? Yeah. You'll have to get rid of that old guy and put in somebody else who's on the job. We can't do that, Ron. He's already established. Anyway, it wasn't his fault. It was just one of those things. You know, Rod, it's been quite a while since you've thrown a loop. Being on your radio program doesn't give you much chance to practice. Huh? I don't need practice. Maybe not, but replacing Tom would mean a lot of retakes. Yeah, it would mean a lot more if I walked off, wouldn't it? <sighs> okay. Better give Tom his check and get somebody else. Why didn't that big ham stay in radio? Robin Hood of the range. That's a way to handle them, Rod. You tell them who's boss around here. Say, give me another shirt, will you? Yeah, sure, right away. Fan mail? Dear Mr. Mason, I am a very wonderful horse and I would like to be in pictures with you. <laughs> Get this, Ace. Please give me a chance to show you all my tricks. Signed, partner. P.S. Also, I need the job. Oh, I've seen everything. Even horses come looking for jobs. <laughs> Get rid of that unemployed nag, would you, Ace? Beat it! Tramp! <laughs> I told you to beat it. Go on! Hey, what's the idea? I couldn't help it, Rod. Get out of here, you pest! Help. I'll teach you a few tricks you want to get! Please, Mr. Mason! He couldn't help it! You a horse? Yes, sir. Well, get him out of here. It's okay, boy. Don't be scared. He just didn't understand. Does he have to go around knocking people down? Well, he thought he was supposed to nudge you. I told him to do it whenever I said go on. Gosh, Mr. Mason, I feel awful about this happening. Especially to you. See, you're my favorite radio star. Am I? You bet. I always listen to Robin Hood of the Range. Sure is super. Thanks. And I'm president of the Rod Mason Fan Club. See, here's my badge. Well. That's why I came to you about getting partner in pictures. I thought maybe you'd need a horse like Nevada, the one you have on the radio. Well, I haven't anything to do with hiring the horses. That's uh, up to the studio. But I can't get in. I thought maybe you'd help me like you help people on your radio program. Well, um, uh... You'll be sorry, Mr. Mason, because I taught partner to do all the tricks Nevada does, and some more besides. Well, I... I always try to help, but the, um, the, uh, situation is, uh... Mr. Mason! Yes, Nate? Pardon me, Mr. Mason, but we're ready for you now. Well, so long, kid. Give my regards to the fan club. Thank goodness he got me out of that one. Now, from now on, keep all visitors off the set. Any luck, Danny? Oh, he says I have to try at the studio. A lot of good doubt, too. Oh, I know it's discouraging, son, but... If I had a horse like partner, I'd sure give it another try. Good looking horse you got there. He's smart, too. I taught him a lot of tricks. Ah, uh, he's sure a beauty. Would you like to ride him? Sure. Go on. Yo, you mean now? Sure, see what he can do. Okay. Been a long time since I've been on a good horse.
I see if you can pick it up. Thanks. That's sure some horse, Sonny. Would you like to use him in your next picture? Or have you already got a horse? Whoa there, young fella. You think I'm a movie actor? Well, aren't you? Oh, I'm just a plain cowboy trying to break in. You know, I've never been able to get past that front gate. You too? Yeah. Looks like we're members of the same club. Monty Hale's the name. I'm Danny McCoy. They don't give you a bit of encouragement around here, do they, Danny? Nah. Seems like they always say the same thing. No casting. Come back next week. Nothing today. <laughs> today. If I could only get him just to look at partner. Yeah. I know just how he feels. He can do all kinds of tricks. I even taught him to dance. Yeah? Jitterbug or square dance? Oh, I'm not fooling. Go on and play something and I'll show you. <laughs> well, this I gotta see. Andy! Oh, Andy! Just a moment. I want to talk to you. Here's our chance. There's the casting director. Let's go into the act. Hear the beat. Beat, beat of his little feet as he jogs along so fine with his head held high and his mane a flying little bronc of mine with a prance 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 he can do a dance how his twinkling eyes do have you found that new girl for the next picture i have a couple coming over george as a picture little bronc of mine always brave and faithful and a pal to me I'm never lonesome on the range with my bronc for company with a beat 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 of his little they're all right aren't they as he Not bad. along so fine with his head held high and his mane a flying little bronc of mine I see you took my advice a lot of good it did me they didn't even notice her. I'm gonna make them notice me. Hey, where are you going? What sort of gag is that? I don't know. <laughs> Of all the fool stunts, did you hurt yourself, Danny? No, I'm all right. What in blazes are you trying to do, break your neck? I was just trying to show you what partner could do. Well, what do you think this is, a Wild West show? And you should have had more sense than let him pull a crazy trick like that. Sure, it was crazy. But you got to break your neck before you can get anyone around here to notice you. Ouch, my knee. Better get him inside the first aid. I won't go in there. I want to go home. Okay, home it is, Danny. Where you live? Sycamore Road, the McCoy Riding Academy. My car is right over there. Come on. Hey, cowboy, come back here. I want to talk to you. Go ahead, I'll take him home. I'll get your horse and put it in the trailer. What's the matter? Are you hurt? I guess he wrenched his knee, ma'am. Oh, it ain't nothing. It's a good thing it wasn't any worse. Well, it certainly is. Whatever possessed you to do anything so crazy? Oh, money, I was just putting on a rack. I'd like to get my hands on that, Monty. Encouraging a little boy to do anything so idiotic. Oh, it wasn't his fault. And don't worry, I won't do it again. And then you say how. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you all along. You'll never be able to get partner into pictures, dear. I figured I was old enough to do something. Well, you'd better wait a few years before you try to become the man of the family. Oh, dear, that must be my new pupil. He would have to come now. Well, you can run along. I'll take over. All right, thank you. I won't be gone long. Hello. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Why, no, ma'am. 
that's a sensible outfit you're wearing. Oh, it is? <laughs> you should see some of the outfits they wear. Shall we get started? Well, where are we going? Well, to get the horses, naturally. Take it easy. That's good. What in the blazes are they doing? Gloria's giving money the first lesson for beginners. <laughs> Sit up straighter. That's better. Chase Ryder in one lesson? No, ma'am. I don't know how you meant. Oh, managed to stay on as long as you did. Beginner's luck, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's so funny? He might have broken his neck. He sure fooled hard. He can ride as good as you can. Then why did you want to take lessons? I didn't. That was your idea. He's not your new pupil. He's Ronnie Hell. Remember I told you about him? I certainly do. Now I understand why you wanted to be a stunt rider. It paid off all right. They noticed you. You mean the act went over? Yep. That's what Mr. Sheridan wanted to see me about. We're hired. Oh, boy, did they hear great. that? When do we start? Tomorrow morning. We'll sure be there. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere. But, sis, I gotta be there to work partner. Right now it's more important for you to take care of that knee. But who's gonna put partner through his tricks? Well, I didn't do so badly, did I? No, but... What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Sure. You're just about the only person I would trust. Well, then stop worrying. I'll take good care of partner for you. Thanks. You know what you're going to do? Well, they didn't tell me. I guess I'll find out when I get there tomorrow. You think it was all right, fellas? You bet. Quit worrying. Your numbers are really going over swell. Sure, if they weren't, you'd have been chopped long ago. You boys are finished for today. Monty, here's some revisions for your script. You'll get a call from casting. Say, they sure have built up your part. Well, what do you know? Look at all that dialogue. Good for you. Yes, sir, you go right through to the fade-out. Yeah? Before I fade out, I want to see Mr. Sheridan. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Wait a little Danny hears about this. We'll really have something to celebrate. Say, boy, we better go out and get things started, huh? But, uh, how about Monty? Well, why don't you wait for Monty and see that he don't get sidetracked? I'll see that he gets there. Swell. Boy, I'll bet Rod Mason is burning. Yeah, you ought to be well done by now. That's all he's been doing since Monty started. Every revision that comes through gives him more to do. You seem to forget that I'm the one they're going to pay to see, not some yodeling cowboy. Autry and Rogers have done all right. It won't do you any harm to have a good supporting cast. Bigger stars than you have found that out. What do you mean, bigger stars? Look, all I'm interested in is making a good picture. If you don't like the way I'm doing it, tell the front office. Oh, Mr. Sheridan. What do you want? It's about this part. Is it all here? Not you, too. What's the matter? Isn't it good enough for you? Sure, it's fine. Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. Well, that's big of you. Then what do you mean, is it all here? Well, I can't find anything about partner. Who in blazes is his partner? Don't you remember? He's the horse that jumped over your car. I certainly do. Well, what gave you the idea we wanted him? Well, I thought they were hiring the act. You thought wrong. We just wanted a singer. But, Mr. Sheridan, the kid that owns him thinks he's in the picture. Couldn't you fit him in somewhere? I have enough troubles on my hands without hiring a flying horse. And if you're smart, you'll forget about him, too. And get busy learning those lines. I'd rather take a licking than do this to Danny. Can't you wait and break it to him a little later? Ah, uh, what's the use? He's got to know sooner or later. Come on. Oh, Here he is, fellas. Come on. Hurry up. All right, go ahead and tell him. I sure don't envy your job any. Hi, I'm Bonnie. Hello, Danny. Can I have your autograph? I want it for you. Yeah, right here. Yes, and you might as well get used to it. You're on your way to becoming quite a celebrity. I am? <laughs> According to your publicity man, Johnny, he told us all about your pod being built up. Oh, you brought partner. I guess he won't be able to tell him with that mob around. Maybe not, but he will the first chance he gets. 
Wasn't there any way they could use partner? No. Smiley tried, but no dice. What did he do, Marty? Did they like him? How was he, Money? Well, that's what I came to tell you about, fellas. Well, uh, boys, wait a minute. Don't you think we ought to show Monty the surprise first? Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. here. <laughs> I've never seen Danny so happy. <laughs> you don't know what you've done for him. In fact, for both of us. I don't suppose he'd ever have gotten partner in the pictures if it hadn't been for you. Yeah, but you see... And, uh... I want to apologize for the way I behaved yesterday. But I'm the one that ought to apologize. Oh. There's a surprise, Money. There's our clubhouse, and he's a cashier. What's the matter, Money? Don't you like it? Oh, sure. You see, Danny's even given you top billing over partner, and that's quite a concession. But you see, I don't deserve any top billing. <laughs> Don't be so modest. The boys want to hear about your picture experiences. Come on, tell us about it. Yeah, come yeah, on, come on. on. Guess we might as well wrap it up, fellas, and go home. Oh, wait a minute. We can't let him spoil the party. Let's go through with it the way we planned. Well, all right. Hello, Monty, how are you? Right on, cowboy. And here is partner, good and true, all the live long day. You're a cow we never snub. Right on, cowboy. Welcome to our new fan club, all the live long day. We'll sing our songs so loud and clear, right on, cowboy. For miles and miles you will hear, all the live long day. Let's go home in the old red wagon, goodbye, goodbye. One wheel broke in the axle dragon, all the live long day. Gonna have a party, gonna have some fun. Gonna have a party, welcome everyone. How'd you like it, Money? The boys arranged it in your honor. Ah, oh, gee, it was swell. Thanks, fellas. Now, what were you going to tell us about partner? Well, you see, they... Marty, you better let me tell them. You see, Marty was afraid that you might be disappointed because partner didn't get a real good part in the picture. But he's in it, isn't he? Oh, sure, he's in it all right, but he's just in the crowd. Oh, that's okay. I guess he's got to get experience like human. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see, he, he has to learn to get camera-wise. Oh, at least he's in. That's the main thing. I bet it won't be long before they notice him. <laughs> sure it will. Bet you they'll star him pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, now that that's settled, how about coming with me before the party melts? Oh, yeah, fellas, ice cream, I forgot. Yeah, come on. <laughs> coming, boy? We'll be right along. What was the sense of lying to the poor kid like that? Don't you realize it just makes it tougher? <laughs> you guys were a big help, too. Oh, now, wait a minute. Oh, it doesn't do any good to keep putting it off. We have to tell him sometime. No, you don't, Monty. What I just said is on the level. You see, I'm a wrangler working for the outfit that furnishes horses to the studio. And I'll fix it some way to slip partner in. Ah, uh, getting down to fine points, I guess it's all right. But I still don't like it. Now what? This plug just won't jump. That's what you said the last seven times. We've wasted all morning on this one scene. I'll give him a break, George. He's trying. I know, but don't forget I have a schedule to meet, too. If we're ever going to get this shot, we'll have to have another stuntman. Who we got, Nate? Nobody. I didn't think we'd need anyone else. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Sheridan. Yeah? But do you remember that horse that jumped over your automobile? How can I forget him? Why bring that up? Well, jumping over that tree would be duck soup for him. I guess you're right at that. That's what I thought. There he is. Well, that's fine, but we still need a rider. You got him, too. Marty Hale. What do you think? Well, it's worth trying. We've got to get the scene. You can't hire another man for that. That's Ace's job. It was his job. Ace, you can still do the fights. Okay, Johnny. Get him over here quick. Hey, Marty, come here and bring partner. Now, don't worry. You won't get away with this. I'll never direct another one of my pictures. I'll have a showdown as soon as I get back to the studio. Maybe we won't have to wait that long. Hurry up. Bring it in. Come on. Monty, got everything straight now? Yeah. 
I'll make the jump and then continue chasing the wagon. Right. Ace, you understand about the dynamite business and where you drop it? Sure. All right, get in the wagon. Okay, Monty, mount up. Ready with the cameras. I know exactly where to drop it. Are you sure you can get away with it? Why not? Nothing to it. But don't forget now. Get partner his head and don't let him get you rattled. Don't worry, Johnny. We'll make it. Won't we, partner? Won't this be swell news for Daddy? You already ride? Yeah. Okay. You all ready, Monty? Any time. Turn it over. See? Come on! <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Didn't you kind of overdo it? You might have killed him. Well? Well, what about partner? He must be all right the way he tore out of here. The boys will get him. <laughs> Gosh, you scared the daylights out of me, but we got a swell shot. You sure wouldn't have gotten it if I'd known what was going to happen. What was the idea? Now, wait a minute. It wasn't my idea. What went wrong, Ace? We just hit a bump in the road. The dynamite jumped right out of my hand. I'm sorry, chum, but accidents will happen when you work in pictures. Yeah, I suppose so. I sure hope partner's all right. Say, how about using that horse? Sure, go ahead. He's in pretty bad shape, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like that blast shot his nerves to pieces. Oh, partner. Easy there, boy. Do you think it'll take him long to get over it? Well, it's hard to say, Marty. He may get over it in a hurry, and then again, it may take him weeks or even months. Then he expects me to bring him home right after the picture's finished. I'd hate to have him seem like this. Yeah, it'll just about break that poor little kid's heart. Oh, boy. Hey, take it easier. Hey, I have a corral over at my place. We can keep him over there until he gets better. Well, I guess that's about the only thing to do then. We're ready for you, Monty. One more sequence and we're through. Well, we're through now. This horse is in no condition to work. Oh, I guess not. But we've got to finish today, Monty. I suppose we'll have to use a double horse. Well, we use old spider. Okay, let's get going. Are you ready, boys? Okay, roll it. Action.
Don't you know the leading man is supposed to stay on his feet? Well, you'd better tell him. Did you reach Gloria? I just phoned her, but she had already left the house. I just hope nobody spills anything about partner. How is he? Oh, not so good. But at least we got him away where he'll be quiet. Johnny's taking care of him. What are you going to tell Gloria? Uh, Johnny and I cooked up a yarn. I just hope it goes over. It better be good. There she is now. I found my way in all right. So I see. <laughs> time I've been inside a studio. I'm certainly glad you got into pictures so I could come to this party. Glad you like it. <laughs> Isn't that Rod Mason? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, sounds like a fan of yours, too. I have to be nice to my public. Would you pardon me, please? Surely. Hello, Monty. Having a good time? Yeah, fine. Well, aren't you going to introduce me? Why, yes. Miss McCoy, allow me to present Mr. Mason. How do you do? It's certainly a pleasure. I heard you mention my name. Hadn't we met somewhere before? Oh, no, but I feel as though I know you. Oh, you're one of my fans. Well, not exactly, but my kid brother is. Well, how about keeping in the family? May I have the next dance? I'm sorry. This dance is already taken. Well, perhaps later, then. He's nice, isn't he? Oh, he thinks he's Van Johnson and Shep. <laughs> hey, Marty, how about coming up here and doing that ballad number you did in the picture? Okay. Would you excuse me, please? Of course. Sing it pretty, Marty. Rose of old Santa Fe I'll soon be on my way For I know you're waiting there for me Rose of old Santa Fe Santa Fe For you I'm yearning Long to be returning I miss the miss that misses me She's waited oh so patiently She's the flower of my heart, my own May I? The western star that's shining Like a rose there all alone It seems I hear her voice so dear Calling to the wanderer to come home Rose of old Santa Fe I'll soon be on my way For I know you're waiting there for me Rose of old Santa Fe Monty Long? Not very. He came out to my riding academy one day to see Danny, and I tried to give him a lesson. <laughs> oh, you're a riding instructor. Yes, why? Oh, I just took it for granted you were in pictures. You should be. Oh, thank you. But the only member of our family who's made the grade is Pardner, our horse. Pardner? Isn't that the trick horse that... Yeah, that's the one. How is he? Well, fine. Wouldn't you like to see the rest of the studio? Oh, I'd love to. Will you excuse me? Certainly. This is an Alan Lane picture. Quiet, please. Shh. I speak. Lay down. As soon as I go through that door, a couple of your crooked deputies will blast me and claim I was trying to break jail. Well, it's worked before. Get going. Okay. 
Okay, cut it. Print it. Hello, Money. Hello, Don. Miss McCoy, Don Barry. How do you do, Miss McCoy? How do you do, Mr. Barry? Hey, how about coming over to our party? Well, I'd like to, but right now I've got a date with a couple of tough guys on stage 16. If I polish them off in time, I'll try to make it. See you later. Be seeing you. All right, hold it for a still picture. Thank you very much, Miss Evans. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. You're welcome, Monty. All right, folks, we're ready to shoot this scene. Well, I guess that means we go back to work. That's our exit cue, Miss Gloria. You come back to see us now. Okay. See you later. Bye. 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 Just wait until Danny hears I had my picture taken with Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Yeah, we'll get him a print of it. We better, he might not believe me. <laughs> what are you gonna be doing this evening? When the shadows come a-stealing through the veil Would you like to go with me Sort of keep me company Riding down the sunset trail Breezes are practically sure to be whispering While the stars are winking over hill and dale And perhaps we'll stop to chat All about, well, this and that Riding down the sunset trail we will see the moon dust over purple mountains And the set of desert flowers will fill the air And I have it on reliable information That a symphony of crickets will be there So what are you gonna be doing this evening? Such romantic situations never fail and the scene will be complete Only if by chance we meet Riding down the sunset trail Just a shady spot not overrun by people With a musical accompaniment of birds And for those inclined to intimate conversation Take my advice, it's much too nice for words So what are you gonna be doing this evening? Such romantic situations never fail And the scene will be complete Only if by chance we meet Riding down the sunset trail All right, cut. They make a wonderful team. Yeah, but we can't stay here any longer. We better get back over to the party. All right. Huh. <laughs> Looks like everybody's leaving. Oh, it was a grand party, Marty. I had a wonderful time. Yeah, it was all right. You seem to have made a lot of friends here. I hope that doesn't mean you're going to forget your old ones. Now, you know that couldn't happen. Danny seems just like a kid brother to me. Does that mean you want me to be a sister to you? Heck no. But I guess I won't be seeing you for a while. Uh, you see, we're going away on, on location, up to Utah. Uh, on a new picture? Yeah, and they're figuring on taking partner along, too. Oh, that's wonderful. Will Danny be able to see him before he leaves? No, I'm afraid not. You see, they're shipping him out the first thing in the morning. Will you tell Danny I'll take good care of him? Oh, he knows that without being told. Do you realize you're quite a hero to my young brother? Uh, to steal Mason's line, how about keeping it in the family? <laughs> that might be arranged. Will you be gone long? Well, that's hard to say. Maybe a few weeks, maybe longer. It all depends. We're both going to miss you. I guess that makes it unanimous. That's one of the best westerns you've made, E.J. Uh, I'm glad you like it, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Say, Rod, incidentally, uh, how do you think your radio fans will like you on the screen? Oh, equally well, I'm sure. You were great, Rod. Wasn't he, Mr. Pearson? Yes. You've got a good picture, George. That new man is terrific. Uh, what's his name again? You mean Monty Hale? Uh, say, I like that boy, E.J. As far as I'm concerned, he wrapped up the picture. Yeah, he's got everything. Personality, looks, nice voice. And good on the action stuff, too. Say, I'd like to use him on the Stars of Tomorrow program. Fine. But get him over here first. I want to talk to him, George. Well, as a matter of fact, I've been trying to locate him, but he, he seems to have done a fade-out. How come? Search me. Maybe he got homesick. Was there any girl in his life? Ah, cherche la femme, as they say in our scripts. No, nothing like that. Guess he just got fed up with the picture business. Oh, probably those fights were a little too rugged for him. Just couldn't take it. Oh, he could take it all right. And he could dish it out, too. Tell me more. The point is, find him, George, and get him over here. Don't worry, E.J. If he's got ears or eyes, 
He'll know you're looking for him because that's my next story. A picture contract with Globe Studios awaits Monty Hale if and when he can be located. The young actor appeared in Rod Mason's horse opera, Out California Way. Is that on the level? Yeah. According to the grapevine, this cowpoke is slated to take my place. Uh, they can't do that to us. Uh, maybe not, but they're doing it. Mr. Mason? Well, hello there. Nice to see you again. Hello, Mr. Mason. You remember Danny, don't you? Certainly. How are you, my boy? Fine, thanks. Maybe you can help us, Mr. Mason. I'm puzzled over this item about Monty. Doesn't the studio know he's on location up in Utah? Well, there's no company on location. But there must be. He took partner up there with him. That's Danny's trick horse. You remember him? Yes, very well. Seems kind of fishy, doesn't it? You suppose he could have pulled a run out? Oh, no. Monty wouldn't do anything like that. Well, I certainly hope you're right, son. But it does look suspicious, his lying about the location trip and then disappearing. What do you think we should do? Better let me check on it. I know how you feel, Danny. And I'll do everything I can to get partner back for you. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Come on. Come on around here. Jump over there. Anna, boy. Come on around here. Come on, partner. Partner. Hey, come on around again. What kind of a routine is he working on? I don't know. Hat up, boy. Come on around here. You're not afraid anymore, are you, boy? You're gonna be all right. I've got some good news for you. Come on, I'll tell you on the way to the studio. What is it? You know that picture you worked in? Yeah. They just ran it over at the studio and you went over swell. Now, Mr. Pearson wants to see you right away. Not interested. But I got good news for you. Partner here is just about cured. Oh, that's wonderful. As soon as he gets over being gun shy, I'm going to take him back to Danny and head out to the rodeo where I belong. Well, yeah, that's all right for you, but what about the kid? He thinks you've got his horse in the pictures. And now's your chance to do it. Once you're signed up, you can write your own ticket. You can make that Monty Hale and partner combination turn out to be the real thing. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, don't just stand there. Come on, you can't keep those big shots waiting. discovered a good many stars in my day, and I've never been wrong. That's sure a swell break for me, Mr. Pearson. How soon do I start? Right away. We have a picture ready to roll. We were going to use one of the other stars in it, but we've decided to use you instead. Well, how about partner? Oh, of course. He'll be featured with you. I've drawn up one of our regular form of contracts. Uh, would you care to look it over? Oh, pardon me. Mr. Sheridan wants to see you right away. Oh, I have him come in. I've been looking all over for you, Monty. Someone just phoned a story into the publicity office about you stealing some horse. Why, they must be crazy. Unless they mean partner. Why, did you steal him? No, sir, I just borrowed him. Borrowed him? Did you tell the kids some yarn about going on location? Why, yes, I did. Wait a minute. What's this all about? Well, you see, he was in kind of bad shape. He still is. Who, the kid? No, the horse. He's practically local. But he can't be. We mustn't let the newspapers get hold of this story. Too late, E.J. Photographers and reporters are out there already. And then we'll have to call the whole deal off. Why, they'd ban your pictures before they were ever made. But it doesn't make sense. Partner was all right when I left him. Then you better get out there and straighten it out. What's the matter with him? 
I wish I knew. But where's Monty? What does he have to say about it? I don't know. He's not around here. Oh, Danny, wait! Look out, Danny, don't go in there. It's all right. He's used to me. Oh, now, partner. Calm down, now, partner. Oh, calm down, fella. Recognize me. Come on out of there, Danny. He never acted like that before. He's sick, honey. You see, he's been pretty badly treated, Danny. It's wrecked his nervous system. The way people get shell shocked. Well, won't he get well? Well, that's hard to tell. We'll take him home with us and see what the vet says. Better get him in the trailer. Say, that'll make quite a yarn. Almost as good as one of your radio scripts. Robin Hood runs down rustlers and rescues Brock. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Hello, Gloria. Danny? What'd you do to a partner? Why, I didn't do anything. Oh, that's apparent from his condition. I don't suppose you cared what happened to him after he'd served his purpose, getting you into pictures. Now, you've got it all wrong. He was all right a little while ago. You mean before you went on location? As a matter of fact, I sort of made that up. Well, that seems to be the best thing you do. Come on, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry it turned out this way. Oh, you did everything you could, Mr. Mason. Thank you very much. Well, there goes your picture career. That's not what's worrying me right now. I'd like to know what set partner off again. Yeah, I don't get that either. Why, he acted as bad as he did after that explosion. If it had been anything like that, there would have been some evidence. Or someone would have heard it. Bobby, your hunch was right. The neighbors did hear some shots while we were away. I'll say they did. Does that fit your gun, Johnny? Uh, no, my gun is in the bunkhouse. I use a 45. Anyhow, I haven't been doing any shooting. Well, somebody's been doing plenty. There's some more of these right over here. Looks like he just about emptied his gun. Oh, so that's what's wrong with partner. Wouldn't take more than two guesses to figure out who might have pulled that trick. You know, Rod Mason and that stooge of his were both out after your scalp. I might be able to prove something if I can get a good look at their guns. Hey, Monty. You better get out of here. There's a warrant out for your arrest. Well, what for? You're charged with mistreating partner. We'd better get over and explain what happened. Oh, wait a minute. They wouldn't believe you. Anyway, you'd just be walking into the law. Yeah. Boy, do you know where I can find Rod and Ace? Yeah, they're on location. They're starting that picture you were supposed to make. Johnny, you better get over at the McCoy Ranch and keep them from taking partner. Right away. Boy, would you mind driving me out to location? Come on, but we better step on it. I gotta get out there and do a number. Who was to fake us, there's a cowboy that's hip Who used to be a Nicky without any pep Singing mighty sadly of his home on the range And now he does it boogie woogie Man, what a change Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam Where the deer and the antelope play all the day For seldom is heard a discouraging word Shoot the holler to me, Walter, my boy The old lady, the old lady, the old Shoot the ranger to me, silver, my boy That wraps up the song, boys. Oh, hey. Yeah? We'll shoot that wagon sequence next. Did you find a spot to do it? Yeah, would you like to see it? Sure, I'd like to take a look. Let's go. That sounded fine. Thanks, Monty. But you like the next scene even better. They're lining up an action sequence that's just made the order for you. Well, this is it. All right for you, Ace? 
Yeah, I think I can do it from here, all right. Make sure you land on the wagon bed, not on me. <laughs> okay, boys, bring the cameras down here. All right, Mason, come on. Mason would start clowning now, just when we thought we had him out of our hair. No such luck. Well, while they're joyriding, we might as well set up for another shot. All Over right, here. boys, up on the hill. There was a swell jump, Ace. You're improving. Thanks. That ought to convince George you're good enough for other action shots besides fights. It ought to be a great scene. Yeah, just like the one we pulled over Johnny Archer's place. That certainly paid off dividends. My performance may not win me an Oscar, but it sure put me back in this picture. Yeah, and it put me in it, too. Get moving, Mason. We're heading for the McCoy Ranch. We'll have no sound effects. We're shooting this scene silent. Get up there. We're going riding. What? Like this? Well, it ain't exactly what the well-dressed horsemen would wear, but they'll be more interested in what you say than what you look like. Get going. Not taking this horse away. Put him back in the corral. Just a minute, young man. I'm in charge here. Haven't you interfered enough? Partner's all right. I had him nearly cured. That's what I've been trying to tell him, Marty. Then how do you account for his present condition? I brought somebody along who'll explain about that. Now start talking, Robin Hood, or I'll knock the words right out of your mouth. Partner, 
Make your hoof print. Well, go on. Kayipi, oh, Kaye. So, partner, just address me. A California way. <laughs> okay.